Okay, well today we're going to be looking at a set of little lead gaming figures. I say lead, white metal, old school quantum lead. And these are from uh, the original TV series V, the mini series. And uh, this is the enemy set, even though this one is quite obviously Mike Donovan. Really good likeness of him. Uh, and this is in his visitor enemy visitor disguise what's unusual is you do get a visitor head if you wanted to chop him off and just make him into a trooper so it's quite easy to army build these lovely sculpted uh, v laser pistol there so you get mike donovan and you get john the leader of the uh, the visitors really good likeness again of the actor Again, you get a spare lizard head if you want to make him into a lizard. You can see he's the commander because he's got stripes on his uniform. And then you get Lydia. Again, really good likeness of the actress. Um, you could put make her a lizard, but the face is just too nice on that. Great sculpts, great pose. And then last but not least, you get Diana. And again, good sculpts classic Diana hand on hip pose um, so the first job we're going to do these is stick them to the base to make them easier to paint and then we can start painting them okay so we're going to do the flesh on the figures and using my normal Cadian flesh tones mixed with a little bit of Vallejo light flesh so it just waters it down a bit so all we're going to do is paint all the flesh parts. It's interesting, I've just noticed on this that this uh, Diana has got a ripped face. That's good. So we can get to do a little bit of green. Now I need a couple of coats, so we'll do all the figures and then come back. Okay, so the flesh colour is dry, so what we're going to do now is use some Reichland Flesh Shade and run that into the fleshy bits of the characters. Okay, so do that with all of them. Okay, so the flesh colour is dry nicely shaded so what i'm going to do now is paint in some of the hair and then also on uh diana diana yeah thinking lydia no lydia's the blonde i'm going to paint the green of diana's face so for the green i'm going to use what should i use i'm going to use some Death Guard Green. Okay. So, hair colour wise, uh, Donovan is light brown. So, I'm going to use a bit of Mon Fang. And then, once it's dry, we can highlight it. So, what I'm going to do is paint all the other's hair. So, Light brown for Donovan, blonde, which I'm going to probably use uh, a tan colour for Lydia, black for Diana, and grey for John. Okay, so the faces and hair is painted. I've not dry brushed the hair, so once that's fully dry, we can dry brush that. What I'm going to do is block in the uniforms. Uh, I know the sort of standard uniform for the soldiers was a RNG red, but I'm going to do red for the officers. And I'm just using Mephisto. I got a visit. Hello. What are you doing? Right, let's have a look. So all I'm going to do is just block it in and then we can paint the details afterwards. So I'll give you a lap in a second, mate. <laughs> so 
Let's go up and we're up. And I'm going to block that in. I'm going to come back. Okay, so as you can see, I've painted in the red and I've painted in some of the black belts. So the next job will be to pick out some of the details. So I know um, Lydia's got some gold on her uniform. Um, but also what I'm going to do first is use the flesh wash and run this into the uniform to bring up some of the, the sculpting details and just sort of where there's seams and then once we once that's all dry and we uh, dry brush over all of this it will bring up the details quite nicely I'm going to do that on each of them, bring up some uniform details, paint some badges and then we come back and we'll dry brush and that'll be just about finished then. Okay, so I've painted in uniform details, you can see, gold on the uniform. So what we're going to do now is dry brush some white over everything just to bring out details and then I'll probably varnish them just to uh, give them a uniform look. So what we need is a nice pretty dry brush. And then all we're going to do is bring up detail. You can go a bit darker on the hair because she's pretty much a platinum blonde. And then we just lightly dry brushing the uniform. I'll do some gunmetal dry brushing on the, the weapons. I know they were sort of black, but I think it makes it look quite good. There you go, so nice and light. Just bringing out the detail, and I'll do that on all the figures. Probably give them a varnish, we'll come back and see them finished. Okay, so I finished painting the figures, I've given them a coat and a varnish. So we've got Diana, really nice likeness, good pose, nice looking figure. Then we've got our arch nemesis Michael Donovan in his visitor disguise. Again, really nice pose. I love the fact that he's aiming the gun properly. So many figures that are aiming guns are not actually aiming guns. He's doing it nicely. Then we've got John, the leader of the visitors. He's got a gun. I don't remember him having a gun in the show because he was a politician, but uh, great, great likeness. They should have done a because this arm was separate, so they should have done an arm where he was carrying something else. And then we've got Lydia, great character, good likeness again, good pose. Look at that, absolute bob on with the gun. So, yeah, so four great V figures. They do a set of four, um, sort of visitor just shock troops in helmets, etc. And like I say, you did get some uh, some lizard heads with these, which I didn't use. I put them somewhere safe. But yeah, well worth looking. That's uh, Crooked Dice. I'll put the um, the link in the description down below. Uh, but this set, I think, was about £15, uh, which is very reasonable. Um, well worth getting. You don't see much of V stuff anymore. And these are very nice. Do a nice little diorama with a you know, corridor or something like that. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more figures like this, then please like and subscribe. I'm always painting gaming figures. If there's any other sort of range you'd like to see me paint, let me know. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.